Jackson Bond, back in Amsterdam. Indeed, yes. How's good, life? Good to be back. It's How's raining life? as always. Yeah, well, that, that's what you said in the comment I saw on LinkedIn, that when yeah. you came to Amsterdam it was raining, and unfortunately it's raining again, but it it's doesn't right, matter. Right. I think life has changed dramatically, I think, in a positive way in the last five, five and a half years for you and the Relayer team, and then yesterday, the big announcement of the exit to Munich Ray. Well, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very much the same, actually. Funny enough, I keep asking myself, so what, when is it going to change? And I said, it's not going to change, actually, because we're, I'm going to continue, and the team is continuing to do exactly what we've always been doing, yeah. which is building and concentrating on building a fantastic um, company, right? Um, a, a category, if you will, within this tech space. We want to be kind of the own that spot, internet, uh, industrial internet of things. Yeah. And I think we're on the best path to do that yeah. right now. And this is only a step. Right. The journey is It's the next step. The journey is continuing. Correct, correct. The journey is yeah, continuing. And that's, so. that, I think that's great. I mean, if, if you look back when you, when you came to Amsterdam in 2013 and joined Startup Bootcamp, the NFC program, which was one of our first vertical, it was actually not an industry vertical, but it was a technology ver vertical. Um, what happened afterwards? Eh? You went through the program, you had your demo day, I still remember you going on stage. <laughs> uh, and what happened then? You raised your first round. So, so give us some of the, the highlights or maybe even lowlights of what happened in that entrepreneurial journey. So I think if you remember the day of demo day, in fact, during our pitch, at the end of the pitch was one when we launched the Wonder Bar. The Wonder Bar. Yeah, correct. The crowdfunding. Correct. Yeah. Um, so that went well. That went successfully, uh, but also very, very serendipitously. So you remember uh, Conrad Electronic? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was very excited about yeah, it. They yeah. they purchased a license yeah. to own uh, at least for a year Wonder Bar. Yeah. Uh, they manufactured it, marketed yeah, it, yeah. and that became kind of the the starting point. Right. When developers started to discover us. Right. And that was the idea. Yeah. Um, we thought, we believed, you remember, that that was the path. Scale right. through developers using your product. Right. Um, and then we realized, let's say, that was 2014, all of 2014, we crowdfunded, we, we, we delivered the product, and we started you know, basically onboarding all of these developers onto the, onto the platform. And then we met another guy, an investor, entrepreneur. The special thing about him was that he was not interested in spreading his money around to a bunch of different companies and come in and kind of give us a little cash. He came in, understood what we wanted to do, saw an opportunity that we didn't see exactly. Um, and he wanted to be CEO and be involved, which you rarely see with investors yeah rarely they yeah. come they're investors right and they stay and he's not an, on he's not really an he's, an entrepreneur. He's, he's an entrepreneur yeah, right but he saw the opportunity yeah. Yeah. where we were still struggling with how do we build this tool set of for this IOT platform for engineers and developers to yeah. use and he automatically and instantly saw this could convert into actual solutions for right. enterprise right 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 but we didn't have at that point a team that could build solutions for those enterprises. We yeah. had to start building that, yeah. building that out, and that was um, so. That was the first realization: yeah. was do we want to shift away from what we think is the right path, right? Developers yeah. to businesses, yeah. corporate yeah. guys, and follow Joseph. Basically, and follow Joseph. Yeah, and yeah. follow his yeah. idea. Yeah. Did that? Did and that was, lead and to that some... was tough. That yeah? was tough. That was really difficult. Mm. Yeah, we struggled and we had a lot of conversations. And, and it was, and fortunately, he wasn't exactly 100% certain either. Um, so it was a gra it was a step by step process as we shifted. Yeah. But yeah. all of those developers continue to grow. So we now have six and a half thousand developers on the platform. Um, and in those early days. We did surveys and discovered that 60 to 70 percent of the people using the platform were actually companies. Right, right. They weren't single right. engineers. Right, these right. were actual people within right. large right. corporations right. working on IoT, and so that, that was where there was this and, bridge. Yeah. The bridge was, oh, uh, okay. well, if they're already using it, right. well, why don't yeah. we help yeah. them and yeah. sell yeah. solutions? Yeah. Yeah. 
So that, that helped. I think that was one of the biggest shifts, the most radical shifts for us. I think probably the second most radical shift for us was uh, when, when Munich Re first invested in 2016, and, and we realized the strong synergy between insurance and what we do. Yeah. Both companies yeah. are collecting data. Yeah. We're enabling data yeah. to model effectively risk and get companies to a predictive, de-risked, right. safer place. Yeah. Would there be um, maybe one or two tips from the core that you would give to, to any founder that is out there now, any other alumni from our network or any other startup, that you would say, take this at heart. This is, this is what happened to us. We sh maybe we could have done this differently. Or just maybe some, some insider tips from, uh, from Jackson. So I think, I think the most important thing that I've learned, and I think if I look back on our, the last five years, is the ability to adjust. The ability to, as you all used to say during Startup Food Camp, kill your darlings. Yeah. So there is value in, a, in your own vision, but to get to that result, you're, you're gonna have to give up a lot. Right. It was hard giving up our vision of a developer platform yeah. for a very business focused, enterprise focused, uh, solutions focused platform um, idea, you know, but that was the right decision at the time. That was absolutely the right decision. Um, we came to start a boot camp with a vision of a cloud platform. Harold and Paul and yeah. myself. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't until we were here talking to the engineers, the developers, getting out of the building, talking to the engineers, doing surveys, did we discover that nobody knew what Internet of Things was. Nobody knew how to connect things. And that was where we realized we need to provide not only software, we need to provide a piece of something to get them on the platform, right. which is right. where the Wonder the Bar, one bar came from. Yeah. Came from yeah. as a as a as a tool, as right. an instrument. Yeah. But that wasn't our vision. No. We didn't uh, want to do hardware. No, but no right. I remember those discussions. Uh, we didn't want to. Right. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. wanted. We wanted. Yeah. We had yeah. to do something so, yeah. to get to the, get that. Yeah. We had to show traction. Yeah. We had to test our yeah. assumptions, and the only way to do that was get people on our platform. Sure. So it was an expensive way. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah, do that to and that, we yeah. got very lucky yeah. you know we did our we experiment we did one crowdfunding campaign yeah. um we didn't do two or three and no. test it we uh, did one yeah. and it hit off and uh, we were okay. super lucky yeah. um yeah. because we we talked to a lot of the mentors about yeah. it during the camp during the yeah. 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 how should we do this yeah. how do we seed it before we launch how do we get excitement before we launch you know a certain thing you have a certain vision but there, you have to be ready to learn and adjust right. as new people and trust your instincts. If this guy says one thing and this guy says another thing, which one do you go with? Yeah. Ask a third guy, yeah. you know, maybe and right. see yeah. how that, you know, how it feels um, and where it might come from, where you'll find that direction. I think you have to be ready to adjust, adjust all the time and always talk about your idea because that will help you verbalize that will help you put it out there so people can look at it and test if anyone understands what you're saying. I remember pitching uh, to get into this startup boot camp, uh, those two days of pitching. I don't yeah. know, it was like yeah, 80. Yeah, final selection days. It was like yeah. 80 pitches. Yeah, in two days. <laughs> and the first five pitches, yeah. I think I did, yeah. I finished, it was like a five minute pitch yeah. and everyone was quiet and yeah. looking like, what? Yeah. Many people didn't understand what you guys. Nobody understood. The, nobody. <laughs> nobody so, <laughs> so by the fifth or sixth yeah, pitch, yeah. I had to say, well, yeah. I started to say, wait, yeah. something's, something's not right here. Yeah. And so I asked, I said, does anyone here yeah. know what the Internet of Things is? It's right. That's how yeah. I started my yeah, yeah. sixth pitch. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah. and most people said no. Yeah. I said, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> this is what it is, yeah. and this is how we fit in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, again, I, I think that would be the lesson is just yeah. be prepared to adjust, yeah. talk to people yeah. all the Ask time. Ask the right questions. Get feedback. Uh, yeah. what, what are the right questions? Right. You don't know uh, what the right no, questions right. are until you start asking questions. Yeah. And then you start yeah. 
you know. Yeah. So I think, um, and that's always been the case. I think, um, you know, when, when Joseph joined, he brought sales to the organization. He brought his DNA, and he hired people and brought them into the organization that yeah. we, people, and types of people that we had never seen. Right. And it was a culture shift. Okay. These are sales guys. Yeah. 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 Something we don't have. Uh, right. <laughs> And how do we make that work? You know, how do we sell something we don't quite yet have? Right. And how do we package it so that people can understand yeah. it? You know, these are these are tough lessons, and we had to. You know, we relied heavily on these experts. Yeah. And yeah. and had to give it up. Right. You know, say yeah. let us. Yeah. You know, guide us. Let's see how we can yeah. make this work yeah. together. Yeah. Last question: Will you stay a mentor at Startup Bootcamp to bring all this knowledge that you g gained basically in the last 25 years, 30 years as an entrepreneur? To those future entrepreneurs? Yeah, absolutely. I think I was um, in the last two days reflecting on this, and I got a lot of questions from uh, the team, uh, younger people, members of the team, asking, yeah. you know, how did it all start? How did you get here? Yeah. Uh, and I think one of one of every, I believe, as an entrepreneur, if you get to a certain stage, I think now is the stage. For me, anyways, where I feel like it's time to, you know, give back, sure, yeah, um, and help others uh, reduce their level of fear and give them a sense of, hey, you know, it's not easy, and you're going to make mistakes, and you have to make those mistakes, yeah. and, and uh, be bold and just trust trust your instincts. It's right. going to it's going to work out. Yeah. There's a high probability it won't work out. <laughs> but Part of the process. But it's a yeah. high probability yeah. it won't yeah. work out, but you have to keep, keep continuing, yeah. you know, learning quickly, learning quickly, yeah. learning quickly, yeah. asking yeah. questions, learning yeah. quickly. Yeah. Right, so um, uh, be adjustable. Yeah. So I look forward to spend some final selection days with you then, on this side of the table, asking those questions to those startups. And, uh, and hopefully there will be one day a new relayer in there. Uh, I'm sure there uh, that will be. Will you, you will be the mentor of. Many more, many more, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you.